to Let's Play Planescape Torment. In the last episode, we... Um, have I paused the game? I think I have. There we go. No. God damn it. Yeah, in the last episode, we went corpse hunting. Um, All right. Yeah. Which was fun. The I'm reason gone. we went corpse hunting was for this person, Ivine. Just because I'm we gone. needed to get a couple of things for her. I'm and gone. in this episode, we'll probably keep keep All going right. corpse hunting until we find Done. the last couple of things for her. I'm gone. Um, but it. Ooh, have you got this thing that I need? Blah. Blah. David, my journal. Zombie is trying to respond behind Stitch's stitched lips. He has a peculiar, half-frightened, half-angry expression. Who? You? What do you want? I'm looking for a way to, out of here. Who are you? Tell me who you are, or I'll call the guards. I'm asking the questions here. Who are you? Zombie doesn't... You spy on the... Dusty... Dusty... Dusties. No, I'm trying to escape. I'm not a spy. I got sealed. Why should I help you? Because I need your help. Maybe we could help each other out. Uh, need you to get a key for me. Want iron key to Embelmuz Rum. Alright, where is the key? A dusty chit has it. He points at his, at his eyes. She has yellow eyes. He then makes a motion with his hands that remind you of a pair of cutting shears, blades on fingers. A dustman woman with yellow eyes and blades on her fingers. I already met her in the end, but hold on, I'll be right back with the key shortly. Updated my journal. I will be. I'll get your damned key, but you had best. Yeah, so I'm gonna go go get that key. I'm gone. I need to talk to her anyway, to get this um, needle and thread away. Here, you. Tap you. She turns. Find thread and I'm Wait a minute. You make the motion of a key turning with your hand. I need an embalming key. Do you have one? Yeah, again, 250 experience. She leans forward, looks at your hand motion, then sniffs. Her hand darts into her robe, then emerges, emerges a key hanging from her wickedly sharp index finger. She flicks in, it into your hand. Bring back when done. Go, go. What's wrong with your hands? Updated my journal. She turns away. She makes no sign that she heard you. Her hearing must be as poor as her eyesight. Uh, she's a typhling chief. Blah, 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 blah. I've already read that. So yeah, I, have, I also right. have to like lock the screen on to my character or else it does that. I did that. Ooh, wait. There we go. Nope. Um, yeah, I don't know how to fix that. It just happened. Kind of pain in the ass, to be honest. I'm gone. So, go down this way, talk to this person. Talk to the zombie walker. Um, you see the false zombie. You're amazed at the man's disguise. His breathing is so subdued, you can barely. Greetings. Here's the embalming key. Embalming room key you wanted. Yeah, 250 experience. Awesome. The zombie's eyes widen, and he snatches the key from your hand. He turns it over, nodding all the well. Good, good. Now, how do I get Updated out of here? My journal. The zombie grunts. You can escape through portals. He waves his hand. Poof. Portals? What portals? Portals. The zombie waves around the area. Portals everywhere. Can you show me one of these portals? The zombie nods. You want out? Go to Ark on first floor. Northwest rum. You need finger bone shape of crook. He holds up his index finger and bends it into a crook. When you have key, go to Ark, jump to secret crypt and can escape from here. Secret escape route. He nods eagerly. You can rest there. Crooked finger bone. Where am I going to get one of those? Updated my journal. He shrugs. Must be one round somewhere. Look in storage rooms on upper f floor. Maybe there. Alright. Very well. I'll check upstairs for this crooked f uh, finger bone. 
then head to the first floor to one of the art blah 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 okay anyway more corpse hunting right. corpses where are you since I can't look at the fucking map I can look at this map um okay I'm gone so far nothing yay through here I'm gone all right ooh what's this blood on this table is still fresh okay all right any zombies in here ooh, what's in here all right. Anything done. in here? Give me something. Yay! Embalming fluid. Someone has inserted a tube into this corpse legs. Oh, I'm man. gone. Ooh, that's cool. Embalming fluid. Corpse legs. The tube is attached to a strange clinking machine next to the slab. I'm gone. I wonder if there's any more. Embalming fluid done. or whatever it's called. I'm gone. I'm hoping to fix this bloody thing. Uh, All right. Should eventually be able to fix it, cause it is quite annoying. I'm gone. Done. Map. Um, go up to here. Um. Oh can right. I not like move my Done. character at all? Nope. I guess not. So get rid of the character screen. God damn it! Head up to here. God damn it! So annoying. God damn fucking thing. Um, yeah, gone. if you know how to fix that, please tell me, because it's Done. gonna piss me off if I have to keep just staying to my character's green. Because uh, I've actually exited the game and then came back to the game and it still stayed like that. Uh, tap her to get her attention, give her the thread, and then Updated bombing thread uh, fluid. Without missing a beat, Ivan snaps the thread from your hands and hooks it around one of her talons then begins sewing up the corpse's chest she then takes the embalming fluid and begins to apply a layer to the corpse wait within minutes she is finished she clicks her talons then turns to face you to your surprise she extends her hand and drags her talons along your arms and chest uh it's not i'm not flattered click playing zombie Looks like you have a new friend, Chief. You two need some time together. Slow it, Marty. Um, keep playing zombie. As she traces your arms and chest, you suddenly notice she seems to be examining your scars. She withdraws her talons, clicks them twice, then bends forward and examines some of the tattoos on your chest. Hmm. Who ride on you? Hivers do that. No respect for zombies. Zombies, not paintings. She sniffs, then pokes one of your scars. This one, bad shape. Many scars. No preserves. Her talons suddenly hook into the thread you brought her, and lightning, lightning like she jabs another talon into the skin near one of your scars. It feels barely more than a pinprick, but it looks like she's about to start stitching um let her work updated my journal um max hp increased permanently oh my god yes <laughs> the sensation is curiously painless as ivan begins to stitch your scars when she is done she sniffs you frowns then stabs her finger into the embalming fluid within minutes she has dabbed your body with the fluid and strangely enough it makes you feel better Better work. This may be the second time in my life I'm thankful I don't have a nose. Ivian puts the last touches on your body, gives you another sniff, nods, then makes a shooing motion with her talons. Done! Go, go! Thank you, Ivan. Thank you very much. You kind, you really did help me. Done. Um, Done. Yeah, that's probably going to help a I'm lot. Gone. What did that give me? An extra one. Um, All right. Health. That's go decent enough. Better than nothing. I'm gone. That's all I can see. Okay. Dunk. No, not that. All right. I'm gone. I'm still trying to get used to the bloody controls of this game, and this is going to right. this camera angle is going to piss me off so much. Door is locked. Oh, there's no key. All right. God damn it. 
Okay. Let's Done. just go this way. And I guess we have to go upstairs. Upstairs. And Done. here. Okay. I'm gone. Wonder if I'll have to fight anything more. Stay right. Done. Do, 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 All right. Do, do, I'm gone. Do, do. Um. Yeah. This game's gonna be pretty damn big. Junk. Done. Ah, get. I'll get the All junk. Right. Who knows what All can. Right. What. What's worth what. Um. Charcoal charm. Ooh, what's that? No. God damn it. Inventory. Charcoal charm. Special. This piece of charcoal is char. Where does it go? Um. Quick item. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. I wonder if I can have. No. How? Tattoo, wrist, left ring, chest, earring, blah blah blah. Hand. I wonder if that can go my hand. No. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm ooh, gone. I didn't know there was. Ooh, what are you? A skeleton worker. These are you. The skeleton. Number 748. According to the number chiseled above its brow, it's odd only in that some of its teeth appear to be false. False ones made of reddish brown stone. They're clearly not valuable, however, as its caretakers would have otherwise removed them. Pardon me, have you seen any skeletons walking around here? Uh, why would I the fuck I ask that when he's a fucking skeleton, you dumbass? I have to ask, why this smock? I mean, it's not like you have anything to be modest about. Um, the skeleton makes no reply. Hmm, wonder if this greybeard would mind if I borrowed his body. Greybeard? I don't think it's in any... Something tells me you would. You are damn out of viruses. I don't think he's in any position to object. Something tells me you would be twice as annoying if you had arms like to go. Greybeard? Greybeard, you know? Geezer. Old fella. Yellow dog. Old. Well, I don't think he's. Okay, you can take it. Marty studies his skeleton for a moment, then shakes his head. Nah, I'd need a fresher one than this. And something with a little more dignity. This one's all creaky and fractured. And you're not? Oh, I, and I really need a voice for um, Morty. Oh, you're a sack full of laughs. Morty glares at you. Besides, you're one to talk, Burke. Mer Mer's beg for mercy when you're around. Oh, yeah. At least I have all my parts. Marty Sniggers. You're not quite sure how he managed it without lungs. Let me tell you, Marty. There's nothing more satisfying than walking around, swinging your arms, breathing the crisp air through lungs. It's great to have a body. I'll have you know that helping escape the prepar preparations preparation room has now been added any growing list of regrets. Marty Snigger snorts again. I should have let you rat some more, that is. Glad you feel that way. Let's go. I'm gone. I really probably would... Ooh. The dustman regards you with a stony gaze. Are you lost? No, I'm not lost. If you're not lost, what is your business here? Um, I'm here to see someone. Who are you? Who are you here to see? Um... I am here. Uh, Adan. Does he still work here? <laughs> um. Dal. Dal is most likely in the receiving room, in the second floor. He is quite busy and not in the best of health. Unless you have pressing business, I will not disturb you. Uh, very well. Thanks for the information. Dustman nods, then returns to his duties. Thank you. That's all I cared about. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of dustmen here. God damn. Skeleton? This skeleton seems particularly old. Leather straps binding it together, cracked and worn, 
the word repent has been carefully engraved into its forehead. With some amount of skill, a rougher hand a rougher hand later chiseled 996 onto both its temples. Um, examine this. More studies. Uh, no. Not good enough. I didn't think it would be. Uh, examine the skeleton. Someone has taken care to bind the bones of this skeleton with leather straps woven around the body in such a pattern that they resemble muscles and tendons. The straps are secured to metal bolts punched into the skeleton's joints. This skeleton looks like it has seen a great deal of service. Many of its bones are chipped. Try and pry out the skeleton's joint bolts. Whoa, chief, that's vandalism. Those bolts are probably the only thing holding that bag of bones together. Necromancy only goes so far with these for um so oh it is not a problem oh it's not a problem Morty does a strange bobbing motion that you think might be a shrug just may, just wasn't sure if you knew that or not by all means go ahead try and pry it you pull at the iron bolts with your all your strength and after a few moments of tugging you rip the bolts from the joints the skeleton collapses. Some of his bones are still twitching. Sorry about that, bones. Ah. I'm gone. And go to you. Wooden club. Oh, that's cool. Got a club. I don't mind killing I'm a skeleton. Gone. Ooh, what's in here? Bungees. Yay. What's All right. It? Anything? Nope. Locked. Clock charm. No idea what that does. Done. Ooh. Dustman's Dustman and Bellman charm. Ooh. Okay, th that sounds nice. What does it do? Three charges and Balming minor. What's this? Um, slot charm. Um, I can't use it. Okay. Leather strap. Can I use that? Nope. Charcoal charm. Can use a wood wooden club though. Four, one to six, one to six, four three, one to three two two. Um, I guess I'll go with the iron spike just now. <laughs> That'll be fine. Okay, go this way. Done. Actually, is there still right. is there anything more in this room that I haven't gotten? Nope. Okay. I'm gone. This way, this way. Big thing. Skeleton warrior, worker. This skeleton has either seen a great deal of combat or has fallen down one to many staircases. Both its arms and legs have been broken and rebuilt with the aid of leather straps um, and thin iron rods. The front of its skull bears the number 863, but the back of the skull has caved in forming an empty cavity you notice that someone has taken advantage of this and tucked a, a rolled up piece of parchment inside the skull take the parchment you slip the parchment out of the worker's skull oddly enough it looks as if the skull cavity is intended to store messages a tiny string is attached to the parchment from a hook bolted inside the skull as if to keep the parchment from accident falling out unhook the string you unhook the string and glance over the parchment. It looks like a reminder from one of the mortuary custodi custodians. Custodians? Judging from the note, this skeleton seems to be walking, walking messenger of sorts. As you take a second glance at this skeleton, you realize that it has stopped in front of the slab because it can't figure out how to move past it. Examine the skeleton again. Um, I have to ask. Okay, that's fine. Stupid ass. Fucking Done. undead. Ooh, this is a zombie worker. Number 1146 is carved into the forehead of this walking corpse. Its lips are sewn together with co coarse black thread. 
The entire body is covered in horrible scars, worse even than your own. As if its owner had been burned to death. Its nose, ears and several digits are missing, presumably charred away in some long ago conflagration. As you block its path to get its attention, it stops, gazes at you with vacant eyes. So, seen anything interesting recently? Blah. Done. It's just a burnt gone. corpse. That's All the only right. reason it looked different. I'm gone. What's this? Um, junk. Yeah, let's just take the junk. May as well. Talk to this zombie. The skin of this female corpse is heavily tattooed with intricate patterns. The skin of her brow has been peeled back so that the number 1148 could be chiseled into the skull beneath. Her mouth has been sealed shut with thick, rough stitching. Blah. Of course she's not doing anything. Like she's fucking pretty much dead. The corpse is slightly misshapen. Head appears to be held together by a number of uh, narrow metal bands bolted directly onto the skull. A rusting iron plate over its left eye has a number 475 etched into it. Its mouth is bolted shut and it reeks of embalming fluid. Blah. I'm gone. I need a skeleton Done. body for Morty anyway. I'm gone. I do want Morty to have a skeleton body. Morty's right. pretty cool. Matt, uh. Done. Oh, what the fuck do you want? Um, no. Dal. Okay. Walking zombie. Despite the, this corpse's dry, leathery skin, it's clear this was once a beautiful woman of middle years. Whomever prepared the corpse seems seemed to take pity on her, sewing her bow lips shut with small neat stitches and tattooing the number 832 upon her forehead and elegancy. Blah. You. This reanimated corpse has had its lips sewn together and the perm the numbers 310 carved into its brow. The smell of firm formaldehyde, formaldehyde permeates the area around it. It turns its lifeless eyes upon you as you move to bar its path. Okay. I'm gone. Well, I won't talk to you, bitch. Go there. Nothing. I'm gone. Okay, nothing down this way. All anything right. over here? Any more skeletons? I'm gone. Any more Done. skeletons? Skellies, where are you? I'm gone. Uh, did I talk to you? All right. Did I talk to you? The numbers six one three are cut deeply into this plodding corpse forehead, but an inch of shredded leather, leathery skin separates the one and the three. Looking closely, you can barely make out a uh, two carved in there. Okay. I'm gone. Anything over here? No. All right, I'm gone. Well, yeah, there is, but not yet. Ooh, what's here? You there? Hold. I don't want to hold. Fuck off. Ooh, mortuary sanctum key. That's kind of what I wanted. Fuck off. What are you? Nope. I'm here to meet someone. I'm here to meet Dal. Blah. Okay. I'm gone. Bitch. Done. I'm gone, bitch. Bye bye. Are you gonna talk to me? Done. Oh, is this one of the burned people? Um. Yeah, I've seen that one. I'm right. gone. Okay. I'm Can gone. I go in there? Yes. Done. What's in here? Nothing. All right. What's I'm in gone. Here? A hammer. Done. Ooh, a hammer. Nothing. Don't want to go downstairs. God damn it, I didn't want to go downstairs. Back Done. upstairs just now. Done. All right. Done. Open that door. Is there anywhere else I haven't been? Nope. 
pretty much everywhere. What's this? Second floor, northern storage room. Okay, I've done everything. Okay. So go downstairs now. Back downstairs. I'm gone. Now. Ah, I'm back here. Alright. So go this way. Can I go done. through this door now? Wherever the door is. I forgot where it was. Done. Do, 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 do. Alright. There it is. Yay, I can get through the door. Awesome. Ooh. Something here. Bandages, cleaning racks. Alright. Um there's Done. All right. not much here. Alright. Except a zombie. Alright. Hello zombie. Zombie worker. The especially ghastly looking female is missing its ears, nose and lips. In order to sew her jaw closed, whoever prepared her had a, had to draw the skin especially tight around her mouth. You can still see a line of crooked yellowed teeth through the open slit that remains. The number is 891. It's been carved into the brow. I'm gone. Okay. So gone. why was this... Why? Why did this have a separate fucking thing? Preparation room, stairs up and down. Receiving room. There's some down. Hmm. Done. Where's Done. that person? Where are you, zombie? Not this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I open that door? Yes, I can. Ah. I will be right back, by the way. And we're back. So, Done. yeah. Let's talk to more corpses. Um, All what's right. over here? Mm, ooh, something. I'm gone. And there's a cop. There's a zombie. You're. You see a male corpse with the number three thirty one chiselled into his skull. His eyes and lips are stitched close, and he is. He there. And he there is gaping hole in his throat. He smells foul. Okay, fine. I'm gone. All right. Um. All these zombies seem to just have their mouths stitched. This reanimated male corpse has the numbers 1041 carved into his forehead. Despite his taut, desicca desiccated flesh, it's apparent that its features once had a rather exotic cast to them. The zombie's lips have been stitched closed, most likely to prevent it from moaning incessantly, and it smells strongly of formaldehyde. Another dustman. Nope. I'm here to see someone. I'm here to see a doll. Okay. I'm surprised they actually um, fall for that the whole time. Ah, oh, he's guarding the front gate. I'm gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Different coloured one. This woman's corpse pauses in its trudging. About as you approach, you notice the number is 114. It's carved into his forehead. Her mouth has been sewn shut, but the threading is slowly coming loose, and faint moans issue from between the lips. So, doing anything later? No. Fuck. Done. Nothing over there. And nothing over here. I'm okay. gone. So. Okay. So, I need to go all the way back over this way. Great. Alright. And that should be, the, yeah, right. that's it, that lassie. Okay, yep. Done. So I'll walk all the way back. Yay. Done. Bye bye, Dustman. Done. I don't care what you have to say. Alright. Done. <sighs> this way. I'm no, gone. this way. This way. I'm gone. Which way am I going, actually? Oh, okay. Wrong way. Wrong way. I'm gone. This I'm way. Gone. This way. Done. This way. Oh, talk to you. I talk to you. This doddering corpse has had its eyes sewn shut, as well as its mouth. And number seven to thirty-two is carved into its brow. The thread work that keeps its ocular cavity sealed looks extremely old. You wonder if the eyes were sewn shut before or after the man's death. You notice he is carrying a huge tome in his hands, 
as if taking it somewhere. Take the tome from his hands. Carefully. Carefully take the tome from the corpse's hands. It doesn't seem to notice. The tome appears to be a book of enchantments and wards. It is filled with diagrams and charts detailing various aspects of the necromantic arts. The book itself is extremely heavy. As awkward as the zombie is, it must be extremely strong. Examine it again. Bye bye. And I'll be back. And we're back. I want to at least get a little bit further right. in this game Done. before I go to the next episode. This doddering corpse. Oh wait, I've just talked to you for fuck's sake. Done. You just took your um, parchment, I think it was, or something. Ooh, a giant skeleton. Um, before you is a giant skeleton in ornate bronze armor. The armor has been bolted onto the skeleton's frame, and a series of elaborate symbols have been carved across the breastplate. You wonder where the skeleton came from. You weren't aware they made humans in this size. The huge blade in its hands looks like it weighs as much as the wa a wagon cart. Mind if I hold that blade for a second? Uh, so how long have you been standing there? Examine them carefully. The skeleton's intricate bronze armor is riveted onto its ribcage and shoulder blades with a series of iron bolts. As you study the frame behind the armor, you notice the same iron bolts are set into the skeleton's shoulder, elbow, pelvic and knee joints. A mass of thick leather cords and heavy knotted ropes run along the length, the length of the skeleton's arms and legs woven into such... Um, Mort, do you want this body? Morty grins. Uh, is that a yes or? Oh, sorry. Morty floats up to the head of the skeleton, sh stares at it, then floats back down, studying the armor and the blade as he descends. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I think this will do. All right then. Give me a second to pry the head of this thing. I don't know. This thing looks like more than you can handle. As you touch the skeleton, an iron bell starts tolling throughout the mortuary, and with lightning-like speed, the skeleton awakens, raising his its blades to attack. You'll wish you'd stayed dead, Bones. Fuck. Attack it. I'm oh hurt. my god. Oh my god, that hurt. Use. 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 Um... Um. Um. Run away! I'm gone. Run the fuck away! I'm gone. Oh my god, that hurts! I don't even know how much health you have. I'm gone. Go fuck off. Done. Heal. Right. Heal. Aye. Attack him. Damn. Yes. Did you see that? What did I see? What? I didn't see anything. Ow. You just hit Morty. Uh, miss, 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 miss. Do, 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 do. Ow. Stop hitting Morty. Come on, kill him. My jaw is hanging on by a thread. Would you? Could you give me a hand here? Done. Damn it. Ow. Ow. God damn that hurt. Um. Um. Ooh, actually, I've not checked this one. Wait, speed six, weight six. Usable only by fighters. No, I don't care about that. Nope. Cleaning rags, don't care about you. Nope. Um, heals nine points. Yep. This guy is pretty damn hard. Quick weapon. Can't part with that. Sorry. 
you can't part with that. Sorry. Hmm. This guy is a lot. Oh, what the fuck is that? All right, I'm gone. You gotta be kidding me. What the fuck? Oh my god, no. No. What the fuck? No. Ow. No. All right. Just no. Fuck off. Go away. All right. Go the fuck away. Go away. Fuck off. Ow. How many times must this fool die? Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. So that happened. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that 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 happened there. We just died. Um, that's the first death of this game, and I can definitely assure you it's not the last, so I'll see you all later, have fun, and goodbye.